just can't be anything more exciting than binomial expansion. Who thought of this stuff? Well, today we're going to use Pascal's triangle. Now, Pascal's triangle is kind of a pain in the neck to use, but if you memorize it and you know how to create it, and you don't make any arithmetic mistakes. It's not too bad. So, in this video, we're going to use we're going to work on using Pascal's triangle in order to expand binomials. This is a rather long this is a rather long video. Um, certainly fast forward or go to different problems if you want to, just to see at the end. I would certainly pause it, you know, to try things, some, some things on your own to see how you're doing with it. And then, uh, you know, hopefully you'll get it. If you keep now, now, I'm giving you plenty of problems. Again, it doesn't require you to use all these problems, but I'm going to give you plenty of problems to attempt and work on. And then, um, yeah, that's it. The next one, by the way, we're going to use the next video if you want uh, to look at it and or come back to it later. We're going to use the binomial expansion theorem, uh, or the binomial theorem, uh, in order to do the binomial expansion. But that's the next video. This video, Pascal's triangle. Here we get going. All right, Pascal's triangle starts the same way every time. Let me see if I can find my pen. All right, there we go. Um, starts with a one. So, one, and then one, one. And then it's recreated by doing 1, 3, 1. Now you're going to see where these numbers come into play soon. And then each subsequent row, I just did 1, 2, 3, 1. I just made a mistake. I apologize. Um, each subsequent row um, is a summation of the ones before it. So this should have been 1, 2, 1. Um, 1, 2, 1. So what this says is if you take the expansion of, let's say, x plus y squared, and you use this row of coefficients, these stand for the coefficients that go in front, what it'll be is 1x squared plus 2xy plus 1y squared. That's what that stands for. So we're going to use those coefficients in order to expand um, a binomial to whatever degree we want. In this case, second degree. This number here dictates which degree we're going to be expanding it to. Um, so the next one, again, is 1. We're going to take these two and add them together. So these two will add up to make a 3. These two will add up to make a 3. And then 1. Next row is 4. So the first expand, the first one is 1. We're going to take those two and add up 4. Notice how this is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go down to row 10. I think I got them down to 10. Um, certainly this is kind of a pain in the neck to do or have to recreate every time, but it's not bad. Uh, 6, 4, 1. I really, truly believe that, that the binomial theorem is much better, but not everybody likes that theorem. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. That's a heck of a 6. 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Three more to go. One, eight, twenty-eight, fifty-six, seventy, fifty-six, seventy, fifty-six, twenty-eight, eight, one, two more. And we'll come back to this to get these coefficients in order to expand our binomials. So one. 9, well, I'm just going to use my thing here, 36, so I don't make a silly mistake, 84, this is 126, um, 126, 84, 36, 9, and 1, and the last row, 1, 10, 10, 45, 120, 210, 
210, 120, 45, 10, and 1. All right, that's about as far as we need to go. I don't know if anybody will ever ex ask you to expand the, the, a binomial to the 10th, but if you did, you'd be there for a little while. All right, so we'll come back to that just to, 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 use, to use it to expand these binomials. So this first one is to the 4th. So I'll come up here and I'll look for the fourth row. The fourth row is, you know, and, and again, use the degree to tell you which row to use. We're going to use 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So let me get this a little bit larger. So we're going to use the coefficients 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Let's switch to a smaller pen, maybe a different color. Oops, smaller pen, different color. So what we'll do is we'll go one and then two sets of parentheses. Now the two sets of parentheses are for, two, for the two parts of the binomial plus four and then two, by, two sets of parentheses. One is for the x, one will be for the four plus six, two sets of parentheses plus four two sets of parentheses plus one and then two sets of parentheses so you can see if when I when I get to the one that's got a seven on it we're gonna be here for a while alright so the degrees on the first one start high four three two one and I put a zero here even though everybody knows that anything to raise to the zero power is just one I'll put it there the second ones are gonna start low We'll start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get rid of the zeros because I really don't need the zeros. Let me grab a different color. We'll go back to red. In this first one, we're going to put X's. So X's go in the first ones. I could put an X there, but I don't need it. And then the second one goes to fours. But again, this one's we crossed out because we're really not going to need it. This is a four. This is a four. Four. And four. Okay. We're almost done. That's all the hard work. That's all the prep work that you have to do. So this binomial, when you expand it, will be x to the fourth. Now, i got to take care of all the numbers. i got a four. This is not numbers. This is x cubed. And a 4. Well, that's 16. So plus 16x cubed plus, now I've got a 6 and a 4 squared. That's 16. 16 times 6, that'd be 96x squared. Then we've got 4 cubed, that's 64, times 4, that's 192. So plus 192, and there's just an x here. I think I did that wrong. So, can't hurt, bust out the calculator. It's 4 cubed. What, what am I in this for? That's weird. Let's go to home. Go into calculator. We'll go 4 cubed times 4. No, 256. Of course it is. I don't know what I was thinking. It's 16 squared, which is, <laughs> for some reason in my brain, I got 192, but I don't know why. 192 has nothing to do with this problem. So, we'll get this right. To what did I say that was? 256. 256 because it's 16 squared. 256x plus, and then the last one obviously would be just 256. There it is. That's it. So it's tedious. It's kind of a pain. Normally, they, uh, the teachers on the regions exams don't ask, or the, the regions exams, or even the exams don't ask you to explain expand it out they'll ask for one term or another but we you know we're going to talk about how to expand the entire thing out and then um you know you could pick whichever term you want all right so the next one one five ten ten five one excuse me <coughs> Woo. so we're going to use the coefficients one five ten 
10, 5, and 1. All right, so let me start way over here. So 1 and 2 parentheses. Now, this one's going to have a little bit more difficulty because of this negative right here. And generally in mathematics, you really need to be careful with negative, negative. Negatives usually cause all kinds of problems um, because you really have to pay attention and pay attention to detail, deal with the signs, and uh, not make mistakes. So what I'm doing is taking each one of these coefficients, and next to it, I'm writing two parentheses. Now, the two parentheses, again, because this is a binomial, it has two parts to the binomial. In this case, x is going the first parentheses, and uh, the negative 2, yes, that's a negative 2, will go in the second set of parentheses. Yes, I know it's minus 2, but as we deal with this, we're going to have to put um, we're going to have to put it in as negative 2. Uh, 1 and 2 sets of parentheses. Alrighty. If you're looking why I'm a little bit sleepy looking, which I hope I'm not, this is the best time of the day. It's right now. It's 5.08. Been up since 4.20. Best time of the day. Love the mornings. Nobody's bothering me. Dog's over there in his crate. If he makes a noise, well, you can say hi to him if you want. He won't hear you. He might say hi to you later because he's going to get bored. Again, so we'll start high here with the exponents 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, the reason he's in his crate, just in case you're wondering, is because otherwise he'd be over here bugging me the whole time or trying to find things to get into and I'd have to yell at him and then I would be ne neglecting you all, which I know would upset you. So he's over there. He'll slowly go to sleep just like dogs do. All right, let's grab a different color. No. Nope. Today's Christmas Eve. Just in case you're wondering, it's Christmas Eve, so I will do Christmas colors today. A lot of Christmas colors today. There will not be any videos tomorrow. It's Christmas. I'm taking the day off, trying to get a few done today. Uh, this is the love I'm showing to you guys. All right? Yeah, that's a little scary. X minus 2. X minus 2. X minus 2. Anybody getting sick of me saying it? X minus 2. Binomial expansion is by far one of the most tedious things there is to do, especially since a computer will do it for us. So when am I going to ever use this stuff, Mr. Krauss? Am I going to use this when I go shopping? Uh, no. But you know what? If you're a, let's say, fashion designer, you're not going to use your fashion designing skills to go shopping. You're just going to go shopping. You're going to use this to make money someday because you're going to get a good job someday. Mathematics, science, money. Unless, of course, you're a really good actor like myself. Like I could do a little Shakespeare. To be or not to be. To fail or not to fail. That's what I want to ask. <laughs> you're not going to fail. I won't let you. My glasses are dirty. I'm going to have to clean them. Just in case you're wondering. All right, here we go. Just as before, we'll get rid of the zero powers. Don't need them. Don't care about them. Okay, here we go. X to the fifth. Done. Now, we have to be careful. What I would suggest, believe it or not, me, Mr. I Can't Stand Calculators, would suggest is that you actually grab your calculator to do these. Let me see if I can shrink this a little bit so I can make this a little. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, man. That's some cool stuff. All right, it's not really that cool, but it's kind of cool. Now, I could shrink it here. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to type in all the numbers and everything that I see that's a number. So, in this case, I've got a 5, and I've got a negative 2 to the first power. So, it's really just 5 times negative 2 in this particular case, and that's just negative 10. So, I, that one's not very difficult. I didn't have to use the calculator for that. Some of you are probably going, I can't believe Mr. Krause just used a calculator to do 5 to the negative 2. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you something. All right. The next one is going to be 10 and negative 2 squared. Now, again, I don't need the calculator to do that. <coughs> it's relatively simple math. But for those of you that do need the calculator to do every single thing in your entire life, do it this way. Now, by the way, just in case you're wondering, the reason I put that in parentheses is because this way I get 40. Oh, my God. Nose is itching like crazy. If I just put 10... Uh, times negative 2 squared, notice what result I get. Negative 40. Negative 40 is not correct. 
negative two squared must get done first. But for some reason, all these Texas Instruments calculators want to do the squared first and then this negative, thinking it's really negative one times. That's how this algorithm works on this calculator. It's negative one times two squared. Well, squared's come first, but I don't know. So it's positive 40. Notice also when you're dealing with these, you're going to get one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative. So 40 x cubed. Notice the x's are coming down in this one. So next one, here we're on this one. I'm not going to use the calculator anymore because it's kind of a pain. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8 times 10 is negative 80 x squared. Notice that the x has started at 5 and they're coming down. Next one. Negative 2 to the 4th power is positive 16 times 5 is 80 x. And finally, negative 2 to the 5th power is negative 32. Finished. Done. Lovely. 4th power. We've done one already with 4th power. So let's just go 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We'll write each of these with coefficients with two parentheses. Once again, if you'd like to pause it to try this on your own, please do so. Then fast forward to see if you got the same answer as I got. If you didn't, I hope what you find is that you just made a silly mistake. Or I made a silly mistake. Now, if I made a silly mistake and you catch it, I'd be very happy. I'll have to put something in the show notes or something in the video saying, hmm, mistake. Hmm, dummy. I don't want to do that. But if you do, show it to me. There might be a little something, something in there for you, a little extra credit for you. Uh, we'll start high. Four, three. Two, one, zero. Start low. Zero, one, two, three, four. Now, let me grab some green, red. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. I don't know the words to the rest of the song, but I'm going to do some math. Let it be math. Let it be more math. Let it be more math. What am I doing? My singing is screwing up my math. Oh, these should be three A's. Somehow, I'm going to blame Bailey. I'm not exactly sure how, but I'm going to. Three A. Maybe it's Turpin. Turpentine. Maybe it's him. I don't know. Maybe it's my awful singing. Anybody else feel a little regurgitation there while I was singing? I did. I'm a horrible singer. This is why I teach math. Horrible singer. Not a great actor. Pretty good at math. That's about my that's my calling. Everybody's got to find their calling. All right. So if you are unfamiliar what 3 to the 4th power is, 81, you can grab your calculator to put in 3 to the 4th power. Now, we're not going to put the A in because I don't care about the A. I only care about the numbers. So in this case, it's 3 to the 4th power. 3 to the 4th power is, in fact, 81. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3, 81. 81 a to the fourth. Now notice there's no B's because we got rid of them. Plus, now we're going to do four. Somehow I got rid of my parentheses here too. This is three cubed and B. So we're going to do the three cubed, which is 27, and multiplying by four. And I've taught you guys how to multiply by four. Double, double. Double 27, you get 54. Double 54, you get 108. So, positive 108. Now, notice we're going to have an A cubed B to the 1. I could put B to the 1, but I don't need a 1. This is B to the 0, by the way, on the first one, but I don't need that either. So, on the second one, B plus. So, now we're going to do 3 squared, which is 9 times 6. Now, again, you can grab the dumb machine. I mean the calculator. <laughs> oh, yeah. 9 times 6 is 54. A squared, B squared. Notice that the Bs were non-existent, and now it went from 1 to 2. The next one's going to be 3. The last one will be 4. Where the A's started at 4, and at the end, we won't have any more A's. Notice they're all pluses because I don't have any negatives in this particular problem. So I finished this one. 3 to the first is just 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So this is 12a b cubed. 
And finally, the last one's very simple. It's just B to the fourth. Finished. Done. Let's go on to problem four. Oh, kind of loving this one. It's a three. One, three, three, one. Now, if you need to go all the way back up here and see it, it's one, three, three, one. Or you can just trust me. When we get to the later ones or we get to the bigger ones, I'll have to, I'll, I will too. I'll have to go back up to um, these. Okay. Let's see what we got here. One, two sets parentheses. By the way, please, this is a great one to do on your own. Should have started with that. Pause the video. See if you can finish this one on your own. It's got a negative, which makes things more difficult. It's got a, um, a couple of threes. There's going to be some larger numbers in this one. Let's see what the numbers are. Eh, they're not too bad. The numbers don't get too crazy. Um, and uh, you can see if you can get these correct, okay? So plus three, set of parentheses, set of parentheses, set of parentheses, set of parentheses, plus three, two sets of parentheses, 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 plus one, parentheses, 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 parentheses. This is in fact a one. Start high, three, two, one, zero. Start low, zero, one, two, three. Grab some green. Makes me feel all Christmassy. Hopefully when you're viewing this, you've already gotten your presents. Hopefully Santa was good for you. If Santa was not good to you, then you have to ask yourself, what did I do to make Santa mad at me? Now, if you were an excellent boy or girl this year, and you still did not get what you wanted, maybe, just maybe, things aren't the greatest this year. And you'll have to wait. Or maybe what your parents are doing is saving money for your college education and frivolous iTunes cards and, and an extra pair of ugly boots, ugly boots, <laughs> and whatever Letta wears on his feet, those crazy looking, strange, whacked out shoes that he wears. Maybe, just maybe, they're trying to save a little cash. So they can send you off to get an education so you don't end up not making money someday. Let's go. We're working. Three cubed, 27. No Y's in this particular case. Now, remember what I said. Every other time, we're going to switch. So this will be negative. Now, that's not going to be true in a few minutes. It's going to be kind of weird in a few minutes. And I'll tell you why when we get to that problem. This one, we've got 3 squared, which is 9 times 3, which is 27, times negative 3, which is negative 81. Now, what I would probably suggest here on this particular problem, let's see if I can move up a little bit just to kind of show you what I'm going to do. Bring up my calculator. So let me show you what I would suggest. Like on this one, I seriously, because I don't think everybody's got all the greatest math skills, and you want to make sure you got it right. I would just do it like this. Three, put that three in parentheses, and that parentheses, start the new parentheses. Negative three, and that parentheses. And then you can even raise it to the first power. Uh, you might want to actually put the three in. And if you do that, I forgot the squared here. I probably want to do that too. So if you type that in exactly as you see it, three, the three squared, and the negative three to the first, and you hit enter, it'll pop up an 81. I got it, it's a negative 81, thank you. A negative 81, notice we only have one Y, so it's just Y. So then, take out the calculator again, and I type all of this stuff in. Now, I'm not gonna retype that in. I'm gonna hit this, and I'm gonna go over, and I say, okay, you are now a two, And you're now a 1. And hit enter, and now it's positive 81. And remember, again, I did tell you that we're going to switch back and forth. Positive 81 y squared. And finally, the last one is negative 3 cubed, which is negative 27 y cubed. Notice the y started out not being there, and we ended up with y cubed, negative y cubed at the end. All right. Done with that problem. Five. We've already done a five before. We know that this is one, 
5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Again, this one's got lots of negatives in it. So, 1, 2 sets of parentheses, plus 5, 2 sets of parentheses. Again, I've given you lots of problems. If you get this, you know, when we get to the larger ones, I, I'm not really sure I'd do those. Now, there are some fractional ones at the end of this video that you may want to try. Those are very difficult questions. Those require you to have a very trained mind and for you to be, let's just say, what's the word I'm looking for? Perseverant. You have to have perseverance. Start high, go low. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now, doesn't everybody want to say blast off when you get to the end? Every time I get there, I'm like, I want to say blast off. I mean, that's the little kid in me. You know, I am very young. This bald head, I'm not really bald. I really have a full head of hair. And if you believe that one, I got some stuff to sell you. Let me grab the red. Get a little festive. I forgot where the thing was. Red. Red. 2x. Let me cram this in there. Minus 4y. Oh, 2x minus 4y. 2x minus 4y. 2x. Now, this might be also a nice video for you to pause and just fly through so you don't have to listen to my voice. Unless, of course, you just like listening to me ramble with the same thing over and over and over again. Minus 4y. Cross off the zeros. We don't need them. They're sort of just place filters so I don't make dumb mistakes. All right. Again, if you want, grab your calculator. Type this stuff in. Uh, this is 2 to the 5th power. 2 to the 5th power. Everybody in the world knows that's 32. And then we'll do x to the 5th. Now, this also has a negative, so we're going to go back and forth. That's not always true, but it's most of the time true. So, here we go. Let's see. We've got a 5, parenthesis, 2, parenthesis raised to the fourth power and then we've got a per, oops we don't want that we got to get out of exponent mode parentheses negative four raised to the first power and we'll hit enter and we'll get negative 320 wow that's a huge humongous number did i do that right let me make sure. 2 to the 4th is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. 80 times negative 4 is negative 320. Sounds about right. X to the 4th. And now we're going to introduce the Y. So now the X's are going to come down in their exponents. You'll see that the Y's are going to go up. Plus. Now this one shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. That's, a, that's 16 times 8. Let's grab a calculator. So 16 times, well, here, let me show you again. Uh, when you have this calculator in class, you just go up here, you change the this to a cube. Should have changed this one on the way, oops. Forgot to put a cube in there. And then this one over here will change to a square. Now these exponents always have to add up to five because it's a fifth degree polynomial. Type it in. And we're getting 640. Did I forget something? Oh, I, yeah, that's my problem. Um, the other thing you got to do is change the number in front. I knew that wasn't right. Uh, the number in front should be a 10. So 10, 2 cubed, negative 4 to the second power. Hit enter, you get 1280. That should be 1280. So 1280... Now, the Q, the X is coming down. It's going to go to 3, but the Y is going up, squared. Next one's going to be negative. The reason being is I have a negative 4 raised to an odd exponent. So negatives raised to odd exponents are always negative. So this is negative 16 times 4. Negative 16 times 4, 2, Q, 2 squared is 4, is negative 64 times 10 is negative 640. Oh, I apologize. 
I apologize. This is negative 64. I don't know where I was getting squared. This is negative 64 times 4. Negative 64 and negative 64 is 128 times 2 is 256 times 10 is 256 with a 0. 256 with a 0. And again, you could type that in your calculator. I'm not going to. You get x squared and then y cubed. Now we're going to get a plus. Negative 4 to the 4th. We already know that's 256. Times 2 is 512 times 5. 2560. And again, 2560, but a different way. So plus 2560. X is going down, Y's are coming up. Now, the last one should be nice and easy. Four. And then now we got a minus. Now, I know it's Y to the fifth. I just got to figure out what negative four to the fifth power is. Well, negative four to the fourth power is 256. Double that, I get 512. Double that, I get 1024. Those even computer science, those numbers ought to make sense to you. 1024. Done. All right. Woohoo. I hope the next one's not too big. Oh, it's a four. All right. Again, here's a nice example of where you should pause it. Try this on your own. Can you do this one on your own? I think you can. One, four, six, four, one. One. Plus four, plus six, plus four. Heater just came on. Thank goodness. Kind of cold. Hope it doesn't blow my hair all over the place. Ha ha ha! What a joke! Just kidding. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Numbers start high. Four, three, two, one, zero. I need to say it. Zero, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to move over a little bit, I think. There we go. Give myself a little room. All right. A minus B, negative B. A, negative B. A, negative B. Man, there are a lot of these. Why in the world did I put so many in one packet? Anyway, if you're getting tired of this video, stop. No reason to watch it all. I know you like looking at me, like listening to my voice. You know, it might be late night. You're thinking, man, that guy sounds awesome at night. A to the fourth. Now, this one shouldn't be too bad. We don't have any numbers to deal with, but we do have negatives to deal with. So this one's going to go back and forth, negative, positive. So we got negative one and one and four, so that's negative four, a cubed b, plus, that's negative squared, that's positive, so six, a squared, b squared, minus four, a, b cubed, plus, b to the fourth. That's all she wrote, that one wasn't bad, kitties. This next one is ugly. So, next, oh uh, yeah, then we get some fractional ones. Let's go back up here. So I need, this is the seventh, right? So I need the seventh rows. 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. So go back down. So I need 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Eight terms. I don't think I'm going to get all these on the same row. And I'm really going to show you how to use a calculator on this one. So we go one. And not only that, that psychotic teacher, that would be me, decided to put a negative in there just to make things a little bit more complicated, just to really irritate you. Oops, these should all be pluses, by the way. They're always plus at the beginning, but they're going to they're going to probably go back and forth between positive and negatives, except for the next problem. The next problem's a little funky. Funky Cole Medina. Now, that's an old song from, like, the 90s or 80s. I don't even know. I'm so old. It's from a long time ago. I might have to bring that up sometime. 
you can't put video or music in videos though otherwise I could have a little bit of music running in the background just kind of entertain myself you know but YouTube would flag it and then you wouldn't be able to enjoy all of this fun math listening to me talk and write about a four thousand parentheses who in their right mind would ever do this problem oh. there's no way I'm cramming in a negative four in that uh, let's start high and go low. Seven, six, five, four. Don't say it. Three. Don't say it. Two. Don't say it. One. Zero. All right. I know some of you said it. Don't lie to me. I know you did. You're sitting there saying, how do you know I said that? Because I can read you like a book. Three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. That's a seven. Running out of room over there. Draw, let's go some green. Okay, some skinny green. 3K minus 4. 3K minus 4. 3K minus 4. Fast forward, pause, Get. don't listen to me. 3K minus 4. This would be a great time to you know, like fast forward. 3K minus 4. 3K minus 4. Except, of course. My handwriting gets even worse when I go fast. And then let's see, three K and a negative four. All right, not sure really that counts. Even I don't know what three to the seventh power is. It's probably somewhere around seven hundred and twenty-nine. So three raised to the seventh power. Oh, twenty-one eighty-seven. So. 20, 21, 87, K to the 7. Oh, yeah, we forgot to get rid of the zeros. Minus, and again, I'm going to use the calculator on this one. Let's go 7, parentheses, 3, parentheses, raised to the 6th power, out of parentheses negative 4 raised to the first now I only put that one there just to kind of get the template going negative 20,412 that's probably what I thought it was negative 20,412 K to the sixth next one's gonna be a plus so we'll just go up hit enter we're gonna change the one to a two and we will change the six to a five remember they got to add up to seven and we'll change the seven to a 21 81,648 81,648 k to the fifth minus up arrow these calculators make things so much easier. We'll change this to a 3. And we'll change this one to a 4. And we'll change this to a, oops, 35. And we'll get <laughs> neg <is that> really <laughs> negative 100. And why am I doing this problem? Negative 181,440. There's just no silly reason to be doing this problem. K to the fourth. I mean, nobody in their right mind would ever. I must not have been in my right mind when I created this problem. This is one of those problems I did just to annoy somebody. Uh, this is going to four. This is going to three. I believe we still have a 35 there. We do. Keep the 35. 241,920. I'm just checking my answer key. 241,000. What was that? 920. By the way, if you're wondering how I switch back and forth between applications that quickly, it's Alt-Tab. Alt-Tab takes you back and forth. Negative. Anybody else getting bored of this problem? I am so bored of this problem. Okay. Change this to... We're almost done. 5. Change this to a 2. 21. Negative 193,536. Negative 193,000. 
536. 536k squared. We're getting there, kitties. Delete 6. Delete 1. Seven. Enter. Eighty-six thousand sixteen. This is we're on a plus now. So plus eighty-six thousand sixteen. Eighty-six thousand sixteen. Sixteen K minus sixteen three eighty-four. Make sure that's right. Uh, Negative 4, parentheses raised to 17, 7th power. Negative 16, 384. Negative 16, 384. Holy crap. I'm going to guess this one's probably going to be worse. All right, the sixth row, I'm just going to repeat. I'm just going to show you what it is. It's 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Now, this is a super hyper crazy dumb problem. Again, not sure what I was thinking. Uh, it's got two negatives in it, so negative 2p negative 3q plus I could also go through it like this negative 2p negative 3q negative 2p negative 3q negative 2p negative 3q negative 2p Three. This has to be one of the most annoying videos ever made on YouTube. Like, like in the whole YouTube realm of annoyingness, I think I'm winning. Although, there's some pretty annoying videos on, online. So maybe this is just annoying, but not. All right. Exponents go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Three, two, one, Zippo. I didn't say it. You did. One, two, three. All right, we forgot the two. Two, three, four, five, six. Get rid of the zeros. Let me get rid of some. Let me get some red pen in there. Get rid of these zeros. All right, let's see how we do this. Negative 2 to the 6th power. This is going to be positive. 2 to the 6th power, I believe, is 64. So this is 64 p to the 6th. Now, believe it or not, these are all going to be positive. Since I have two negatives in here, and it's always going to be raised to the 6th power, which is even, that means no matter what I come up with, it should always be positive. So this is going to be positive because this will be negative and this will be negative. So negative 2 to the 5th power is 32, negative 32 times negative 3 is negative 96. Negative 96 times 6 is 576. Again, I'm going to cheat a little bit so we can get through this. 576 p to the 5th. Plus. Negative 2 to the 4th is 16. 16 times 9 times 15 is 2160. 2160 p to the 4th q squared. Now we're going to do negative 2 cubed, which is 8, negative 8, times negative 2, negative 3 cubed, which is negative 27, times 20, which is positive 4320. P cubed, Q cubed, plus 4860, P 
squared q to the fourth plus 29.16 p q to the fifth plus 729. All right, that was annoying. This one's even worse. One five ten ten one five ten ten five one. All right. Now, what makes this one bad is it's fractions. So we're going to challenge ourselves with fractions. Luckily, we only have two left that are annoying. We have two fraction ones. You can practice this one with me and try the next one on your own if you'd like. Hopefully, the next one doesn't have a large exponent. Oh my god, I pulled six. The heck was I thinking? Five, four, three, I'm getting sloppy, I apologize. Two, one, zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what I really have here at the beginning is x over two, but that's sometimes difficult kids to think about. I really want you to think about it as being one half. X. I'm going to put a one half x in each of the beginning parentheses. Now, in the second one, there's a one in front of the y, but it's actually negative, so we're going to have to put a negative one third 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 and negative one third and I forgot the why 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 oh why did I forget the why every one of these I think I forgot the why that was oh I put a space here for him just forgot to put it back okay now, again, this is a great place for the calculator. Um, what we're going to do is we'll put in parentheses, control division one over two. Now, notice I'm not putting in the x raised to the fifth power. And I'm going to put in the y's here, just, just the... the You'll see why. Control division, negative 1 over 3 to the 0 power. And then one, so only because for the next one I could put it in, um, I could just hit change the exponent. So, and that leading coefficient. So we get 1 over 32. So 1 over 32x to the 5th. No y's, because remember this goes away. Uh, minus, we're going to have a minus now, so, so change this to a 1, change this to a 4, change this to a 5, and hit enter, I get negative 5 over 48. Checking my work. Negative 5 over 48. X to the fourth, and now we start introducing Y's. Next one's going to be a plus. So just let me change this here. 10. Oop. Apparently not. Uh, change this to a 2. Change this one to a 3. i got to add up to 5, and change this to a 10. 5 over 36. X cubed Y squared minus.
and we'll change this to a three now. And we'll change this to a two. But the leading coefficient is still 10. Don't, I don't even want that. This should be a two. Enter, and I get negative five over 54. So negative five over 54 x squared y cubed plus. Now I know you don't have this calculated at home, but that's why I'm doing the work for you. Change over here to a three. Oops, excuse me. This should go to a one. And this, I know what you're saying, should be a four. And our leading coefficient should be a five. 5 over 162. X, Y cubed. Minus, and I'll just help you level the last one. 1 over 243 Y to the fifth. Done. God, what in the heck was I thinking? So let's do this. Last one of these. One, six, no idea. 15, there we go. 15, 20, 15, six, one. Two fractions, sixth power, all and negatives. Crazy. Got to be on drugs to be doing this problem. One over three N. Of course, I got M's and N's too. I'm not going to get that screwed up. And if you get through this problem right, you're like a hero. You're not a zero. Either that or you're just a math nerd. And uh, don't ever make fun of math nerds. Math nerds are the ones that rule the world. And that's, of course, you become a math teacher. Then you just kind of have to rule your classroom. Ooh, that sounded so ominous. That sounded bad. I'm bad to the bone. I'm getting a little punchy. The more of these I do, the punchier I get. What the heck was that? 1 over 3m, and then this is minus 2 over 5n, plus 15. you got to be kidding me. I'm just going to write down what these answers are. I'm not going through the calculator work on this one. Um, you know, If you want to stop and try this on your own, by all means... Um, again, um, forgot the N. This one is just a little bit too much. I don't know if I really should have put this one in here. Fast forward. Plus, oops, 1 over 3M, negative 2 over 5N, and then 1. I think I might complain about this one if I were to do it, which, of course, I'm doing right now for the second time because I have it on my answer key right here, which hopefully is right. Get these exponents in. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1. My goodness. So one third to the sixth power. The twenty one eighty nine. I don't think I have these numbers right. I'm gonna check these. So we're gonna go. For some reason they don't seem right. Looks like I'm going to be doing them on my calculator. Hmm. I was wrong. So 1 over 729. So 1 over 729m to the 6. Remember, we don't need these. Minus 
And then this one's going to be 4 over 405. M to the fifth, N plus 4 over 135. M to the fourth, N squared minus 32 over 675. M cubed, N cubed. They got to be added to 6 plus 16 over 375 m squared n to the 4th minus 64 over 31 25 m square m to the 1st this really shouldn't be there n to the 5th and finally, plus 64 over 15, <laughs> 625, n to the sixth. This problem should clearly not have been done. I should have just skipped it. All right, so I want the third term in this expansion. So this is, again, the fifth part. So again, um, I'm looking for, not all of it, just the third term of the expansion. So, kind of the math's the same, but you don't have to do as nearly as much math. Again, it's going 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, but this is the only one I care about. So really what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go 1, parenthesis, 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 plus 5, parenthesis, 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 parenthesis plus 10, parenthesis, 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 parenthesis. I'm going to stop there. And this one's going to go 2 and 2x. Two Let's go 5, 4, 3. And they got to add up to 5, so 3 and 2. So all i got to do is figure out what this is, and then I'm done. Well, 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 4 is 32 times 10 is 320. And I also have the x squared. Done. Middle term. So let's see what we got here. 1, 6, 15, I forgot what they were, 20, and I didn't want it to go all the way back up to the top. 15, 6, and 1. This is the term I want. So I know it's going to be 20, parentheses, 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 parentheses. It's going to have a 4 here and a 6 here. Let's see. This one's going to go on the first parenthesis, we're going to go 6, 5, 4, 3, and since they have to add up to 6, this will also be a 3. So I just got to figure out what this is. Now, I'm not sure why I put a 6 here. This should be an M. So let's see. 4 cubed is 64. 64 times 2 is 128 and add a 0. Now I can put that in my calculator. M cubed. 1280 cubed. Done. These are the simple problems. These are the ones you want to do fifth term, sons of guns, it's really, let's see, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, I want this one, so it's going to be 5, parenthesis, 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 this first one's going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 4, okay, now, if you wrote all this out, you get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and you find out this was a 5. This is 5, and this is negative 3. And it's going to be positive because i got a negative 3 to the 4th power. Negative 3 to the 4th power is 81. 81 times 5 is... What is 81 times 5? 305? 1525? What's this come out to be? 
things in my own mind. 2025. I didn't put that in my calculator correctly. I don't think. Let's see what we got here. Um, we got five times five times three to the fourth. I'm only going to do three to the fourth because it's even. It'll turn out to be positive. So 2025, I don't know, whatever. So it's 2025. Oh, forgot the Y. I knew there had to be a Y in there. Y to the fourth power. There we go. We got two left. Two left. Fourth term. So, it's one, seven, 21, 35. I believe that's the seven row, right? So, I only need this one. So, I know it's 35, parentheses, six, parentheses, 2x. Now, on this first one, the parentheses would go 7, 6, 5, 4. Now I could put a 3 here because they have to add up to 7. This is a huge number, so I'm just going to look down to see what it is. It's 362,000. 880 and then x cubed it's 35 6 to the fourth was just, just ginormous it's kind of like my salary and then 2 cubed second term now nah, this one's not bad 1 6 that's the second term all right so it's going to be 6 parentheses negative 2 to some exponent Parentheses negative 3 to some exponent. So, first one will be 5, or excuse me, 6, 5. So, 5 goes here. And they have to add up to 6. So, 1 goes there. Forgot the V. So, this is going to be positive because you got a negative to an odd exponent and a negative to an exponent. So, this is this is uh, negative 3, and this is negative 32 and 6, and that all turns out to be 576. And one lone V. Well, I hope you survive <laughs> binomial expansion by Pascal's triangle. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm wide awake. I really am. I don't know why I'm yawning. I need more coffee, perhaps. Um, anyway, that's uh, binomial expansion again by Pascal's triangle. Um, those last five or six questions, those are the more typical kinds of questions that you'll see on a regions exam or any kind of exam that you get in class, but I think you still should know how to expand a binomial. Uh, not those crazy ones. That's just ridiculous. That's just an exercise in frustration. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you stuck with me to the end. Uh, the credits are going to start rolling now. And peace out. I'm out. I don't know what to hit.